Between 200 and 1,000 batteries go into each power tube made by Marco Amoboateng and his team. The batteries are themselves recycled from old laptops. We test each and every one of them to see if they are still good or not. So the good ones that we, we, we get, then we try to package them in, into these. Mark Amo Boateng's regular job is lecturer at the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Suyani in Western Ghana. He set up this workshop two years ago. He designed the housing for the battery on his laptop and recently began using a 3D printer for the high precision work. Once completed, the power tube can be hooked up to an inverter charger, which then serves as an emergency backup generator. It um, charges it up and it also sends power um, out when there's, the power is off and stuff like that. So this is basically the whole system that you need to power your whole house. The power tubes have an operating life of between 2 and 10 years, depending on the condition of the batteries. Then you just replace them with other used batteries. We try to look for waste batteries and try to give them a second chance because they are polluting our environment. So we go around scouting for um, these batteries, okay. Um, there are a whole lot in the system. What happens is that most of the dealers sell them as scraps and other stuff. Ghana's capital, Accra, has a thriving used electronics market. But in other cities too, such as Kumasi and Suyani, people do a lot of tech recycling. Mark Amoboateng has found suppliers of used batteries across the country. Anthony Ako from Kumasi started repairing electronics goods 13 years ago, mostly computers. His store has also become an emporium of used batteries, which he now sells to Amo Boateng and his team. I saw right away that this was a good business opportunity. They always pay on time and they're clear about what they want. That's why we try to hold on to our electronic waste, especially our batteries, and no longer give them to the scrap dealers. Ten power tubes have been sold so far. They don't come cheap. They can cost between 870 and 1,500 euros. Their customers include both private individuals and public sector institutions, such as this healthcare center. If there's power outage, they just turn on the power tube. We've been using power tube for several years now. In fact, it has been of a tremendous benefit because there's a power fluctuation in Accra here, especially in the Hatcho. So ever since we started, it has even given us a more powerful uh, uh, elect uh, what do you call it? electrical strength for our laboratory machines. In his quest to provide viable solutions to power shortages, Mark Amoboateng always takes the environment into consideration. Batteries we are unable to use, we keep them, we are looking at alternative ways of recycling them so that they do not go back to pollute the environment. The power tube inventor and his team need more financing in order to increase production. Finding old batteries will be no problem here in Ghana.